What's up, everybody? This is Shade D from Shade D Horror, and I stopped at the pawn shop today, and I thought I'd show you guys some of the things I found. Um, most of them are non-horror. I did get some horror stuff. I will show you the horror stuff first, but before I get into that, I wanted to just say a little thing about my channel here. I will get back to doing the shelf by shelf videos here soon. I will be on shelf eight. If you haven't seen any of my shelf by shelf videos, check those out. I've already completed the VHS shelf by shelf videos. And right now I'm going through all my DVD horror. And the next one, as I said, will be part eight. And I think I will drop that on Halloween. So that one will be coming up. And then I do have some more shelves to do after that. I will get back into that series. But also right now, I am doing the 31 Days of Dollar Tree Horror, where I'm going over different stuff I picked up from Dollar Tree and watching a movie a day and just saying a little bit about it. Um, I've been having fun with it. It's been cool. Once again, I want to say I appreciate everybody that's been checking out my videos. Everybody's been awesome. So first of all, before I get into these things I got from the uh, pawn shop here, a neighbor and friend of mine brought me a little gift. They had went on vacation. As you can see, this bag here is from the Poe Museum in Richmond, Virginia. So, yeah, he brought me just a couple little things from the Edgar Allan Poe M Museum. So I thought I'd show you guys those real quick. I thought this was really cool. This is a koozie here. Um, it has Edgar Allan Poe on there on the one side. And then it has Poe Museum on the other side, and it is Richmond, Virginia. I thought that really that was really cool, really nice of him to stop and grab those. He knows I have a big horror collection. I've known him for a long time. Real, real cool guy. Know his whole family and his kids and everything. We're super cool that he did that and everything. And uh, I appreciate that. And so yeah, I use that with my brewskis. I like my PBRs. I'll definitely use that. And then he got me this cool magnet here. I just thought the artwork on that was really cool. You can see it has Edgar Allan Poe on there, the Raven, uh, the Black Cat. Looks like Telltale Heart and the Pit and the Pendulum. You got some stuff from the Edgar Allan Poe stories. So that was super cool. That was awesome. Now let's get into these movies. These are what I picked up here from the pawn shop. Now this pawn shop... uh is a little honey hole of mine, a place I like to stop from time to time. They usually have some of the same titles in there. I won't stop in there too often, but the reason I do stop in there is because there is 20 DVDs here, and if you buy 20, you get them for 10 bucks. So these are 50 cents each. So every title here that I picked up was 50 cents each. So... Come on, you know, how can I pass up that deal? So I will go over these horror ones first, and then I'll get into the non-horror titles if you want to stick around. And if you do want to stick around to the end, I think I'm going to give away a little shutter code there for a shutter. So, all right, let's get into these. This is a six-pack. Right here we have, uh, this one has Shark versus Giant Octopus, which I do have on another pack. Uh... Beneath Loch Ness, which is one I haven't seen. 30,000 Leagues Under the Sea, which is one I have not seen. Mega Piranha, which is a ridiculous, funny movie. Uh, Attack of the Giant Leeches. And Piranha. So yeah, this is a, a two-disc set with six movies for 50 cents. Fucking awesome, you know? Couldn't pass it up. Next, we have Carrie. This is the remake. Uh... Now, I was never really going to pick this one up because I am a big fan of the original. I also actually like the sequel, uh, The Rage Carry 2, is also a good movie. And I have those on VHS. I also have the first carry on a real cool Blu-ray steelbook, but I have not got to the Blu-rays yet. But yeah, I picked this up so I could finally give the remake of Carry a shot and check that one out. Got one here called Dark House. I don't know much about this, but it looked pretty freaking cool. 
So yeah, I'll, I'll be giving this one a watch as well. One I haven't heard of, but looks freaking cool too. This looks like a revenge film. It says revenge is in us all. Dead man's shoes. Yeah, this one looks looks pretty cool too. Here's one I have seen, but I did not have in the collection. Uh, this is uh, Broken Lizards Club Dread. This is a horror comedy from the guys that did Super Troopers. I remember enjoying this one back in the day. It's cool to pick up and throw in the collection. Here's another one I actually have not seen, and that is One Miss Call. Another one I have to check out here. So that's pretty cool. And this I was really happy to find. Uh, this is the Dark Sky Films release of Spider Baby. It says it's the director's cut. So that's pretty cool too. This is a old classic that I have actually not seen yet. So I was happy to find this. And then I also got this. I've always been a fan of this show. Um, this is the X-Files Revelations. What it is is like the pilot episode. And then you have a few more, I guess, uh, the producers or directors or whoever just uh, chose a few of their favorite episodes to throw in here. So this one has four episodes on it. But again, for 50 cents. As you can see, it's an old Blockbuster rental. So I thought that was cool. And yeah, I think I will go ahead and just whoever does not have... Here, let me pick this up. Whoever does not have Shutter and wants to try a 30-day free trial, there is the promo code right there. Please just say that you got it or a comment. That way... I know and other people know that you got this if you do go ahead and pick this up. But yeah, this is Shudder. It's an app through Prime. Awesome stuff. I watch it all the time. But if somebody wants to watch it, I mean, now would be a good time. There's some good shit on there. There's always some good shit on there. But there it is. Just let me know that you got it. Okay, and moving along here. Uh, that's kind of upside down, but I just want to say that when I was at Comic-Con last month, they gave me a few, as you could see, Vinegar Syndrome was there, so I threw these stickers on the table, and I did pick up a couple titles, a couple Blu-rays from Vinegar Syndrome, but we will get into the Blu-rays in later videos, but yeah. So here's just some other non-horror stuff if you want to still stick around with me, but remember, I did get all these for 50 cents, so I couldn't pass them up. The Hurt Locker, I didn't have this movie. All these are are ones I just didn't have. This, I was actually really happy to find. Ready Player One. I do enjoy this movie. A lot of uh, cool stuff in this movie. And little cameos and characters from pop cultures pop up in this movie. So yeah, super happy to find that for 50 cents. Here you have Cop Out. Pretty good little comedy. This one I have not seen, but... Uh, Night and Day, Tom Cruise, Cameron Diaz action flick. This was really cool to find too. I know this was actually in Dollar Trees for a little bit, but uh, I missed out on that one, but I actually found it for 50 cents. So Batman, the killing joke, as I said in a previous video, I do collect these DC animated ones. I have quite a few of these. They're freaking awesome. Really happy to find this too. Also really happy to find this. This is one of my last favorite comedies that i did not have in the collection so grandma's boy that's awesome uh dante or whatever from this movie peter dante uh was actually at that same comic-con last month and we went to his panel and that was pretty freaking awesome too so we got to see him there and that's what made me realize i'm like man that's like one of my last favorite comedies that I don't have. And then here they have it there. The case was really beat up and nasty. So I went ahead and just switched the case out. The disc itself was in good shape. But I was happy to happy to pick that up. This one was just sealed. This is a comedy called This Is 40. I've seen that before. It's pretty funny. I actually got this to throw in the animation collection. This is Shrek. Everybody knows Shrek. Another comedy here to throw in there. Game Night. I've seen that as well. Pretty funny. This is a cool little movie. Savages. Didn't have it. Picked it up for 50 cents. 
American Sniper, yet another one, 50 centers. And the last of the 20 I got is this one here called Mexican Bloodbath. It actually comes with a cool little slip cover and stuff. So yeah, that was my little pawn shop stop, my little pawn shop haul. And I probably won't be doing any more hauls for a while. I've picked up a shitload of stuff over the last few months and... I got a trip coming up here and just, you know, the holidays are coming up. So, uh, these I couldn't pass up though. They were so cheap. And then, uh, let me know if somebody does get that, uh, code for shutter. That way people just know. And yeah, this Edgar Allan Poe stuff was super cool. So yeah, stay tuned. I do have that shelf eight coming of the DVD shelf by shelf series, Thank you to everybody that's been commenting, watching my videos, giving me likes. Um, my subscribers are still low, but if you'd like to subscribe, go ahead. Um, I've been loving doing these videos. It's been a lot of fun. So, But yeah, give me a like and subscribe. I truly appreciate it. And I am on Instagram. I, am sh I go by Shady Horror on Instagram as well. I hope everybody's been good. And stay tuned. Still doing this 31 days of Dollar Tree Horror. As I said, I still got the shelf by shelf videos coming up. Just to reiterate, I'll put that shelf eight up on Halloween. I just think it's fitting. And yeah, everybody, hope you're all well, staying safe, doing good. Cheers. I'm about to grab me a brewski to throw in this koozie. Cheers, everybody. Peace.